Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Doorbell Ding Dong. In this episode, we will give you a basic information about cryptography. So without any further ado, let's see what is cryptography. Before we actually give a definition of cryptography, let's split this word cryptography into two. Crypto means secret and graphy means writing. So basically writing a code to protect the information. That's, that's what it's all about. As I was saying, cryptography is basically a technique to protect information either by changing or transforming uh, the word format uh, basically to a secured format. It's, it's actually converting a plain text into a, a cipher text. When I say cipher text, the cryptography uses a various technique uh, basically or a various uh, methodology to convert this plain text into a cipher text. A cipher text is something which will be jumbled or rearranged uh, to the kind of a format wherein it displays no meaningful information uh, you know especially for the unintended or unauthorized users. Also there is one specific type of cryptography wherein this information will be getting converted into special symbols and also that information is near impossible uh, to reverse it back to the original information. Now we are going to see the main types of algorithm used in cryptography which are secret key, public key and hashing. In the secret key type algorithm, the receiver and sender uses a common key or the same key to encrypt and decrypt the information. Moving on to the public key, wherein in this type we are going to use two type of key. One is private and one is public, wherein each key is used accordingly to encrypt and decrypt the information. Now let's move on to hashing type. In hashing, the entire data or information is getting converted into a non-readable format and also it is impossible to reverse it back to the original information. These three types of algorithm that are used in cryptography serves its purpose. Basically, secret key ensures the confidentiality and public key ensures the sender authenticity and hashing, of course, verifies or ensures the data integrity. Now let's see what are the areas this cryptography is being used. To begin with, you can obviously, you can see that the disk encryption and following that, it's going to be timestamping, secure network communication, electronic money or the digital cash transaction. And of course, in the dark web, there is something called DropNet or Dropbox, wherein this technique is used for exchanging information completely anonymously. Okay, guys, we have come to an end of this episode. Hope you like the information what we have shared today. Also, we are planning to give you more information on the cryptocurrencies in our next episode. So for the viewers who have not subscribed yet to our channel, please do subscribe. And of course, if you like the video, please share it with your friends. Thank you, guys. Stay safe and stay healthy.